Can I just think out loud and ask a really tough question? Okay, I really like Ben Carson. Mm-hmm. I really, really like him. I do too. And I see why people are attracted to him. Um, but is it possible that we are making the same mistake that the Democrats made with Jimmy Carter? Now, different policies, yes. I know. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. We right? Mm-hmm. We, we were so disgusted. Mm-hmm. The, they were so disgusted with w- the way things were running that the country went the other way they, because they had two professional politicians in there. And so we said, no more. You weren't alive at this. I mean, you were alive, but you don't remember, Stu. Um, people believed in Nixon. Our parents fought for Nixon. They were like, yes, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. And then when they found out he did it, they were like, crap, he did it. And then he lied. And then what made it worse was the GOP um, it pardoned, Ford pardoned Nixon. Yeah. I think that made my dad vote for Jimmy Carter. My dad, too. Wow. My really? dad, too. Oh, they were mad Hardcore as hell. Hardcore Republican who yeah. was so pissed off. Yeah, so pissed I, off. I remember him voting for Jimmy Carter. Yeah, mine, too. Mm. So they ran to a guy, and the deal with Jimmy Carter was they pretty much nobody even looked at his policies. He was a humble guy. He was a preacher. He carried his own luggage to the plane. You remember that? Mm. He refused to let anybody. Cause he's that like, was a big deal. It Veteran. was a big deal. Yeah. Big deal. And he was a kind, gentle man. Boy, peanut that changed. Farmer, right? What? Yeah, peanut, peanut farmer. farmer. Yeah. Peanut farmer. Yeah. Hard working. Yeah. Right. All but he, of that. He had all of the earmarks yeah. of this guy's going to at least be a good guy. He's just not going to screw us. He's a good guy. And this is before we knew how deadly Big Peanut was. Uh, yeah, with their attacks right. and with allergies and right. stuff. Didn't yeah. have peanut allergies no. before Jimmy Carter. That's did you? right. Mm-hmm. Think about that, America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how that works, but but somehow it works. <laughs> somehow. Uh, but you're right. So you're saying that like because we, we're so because sick of what's happened with Obama and the corruption and all and that, the GOP and the GOP. It's a big backlash with Boehner. With this humble, nice. He's a, a really yeah. nice guy. Brain and surgeon. are we are we looking past mm-hmm. too many things because yes. we're saying? He's a really nice guy, and he is. And he's also, not an insider. At he's all. not an insider. He's going to be honest with us. I mean, my fear with him, and and again, I don't say this because I have a thing against him. I really like him. I would love for him to be the candidate. I really would. If he was, if he was rock solid, I would love for him to be the. How are you going to? I mean, look at the things he has going for him. How are you going to um, argue race with him? You could mm-hmm. heal. This guy could heal the race problem. Okay. There's a million reasons I would like this guy to be president of the United States, but I'm concerned that he doesn't have the facts down strongly enough. <laughs>